What is going on guys? We are back on the K24 swapped RX-8. Got Corey helping me with it today. Also a little help from John and Grant as well. Hello. Thanks guys. I uh, got the motor pulled out of the car right now and Corey is working on the front subframe uh, notch that we did. I'm gonna sneak past and boom, that right there. A little bit, didn't really wanna focus, but you'll get the idea. Um, also, while it was out, got this the rest of the way installed along with the hose, which goes over to here. Just need another clamp. This hose got a clamp on it. Um, I need, need to figure out what I'm doing for the studs for the uh, fuel rail because this is the earlier fuel rail, I think, with the later uh, intake manifold, something like that. So it's a little weird combo. And then everything else is here. Don't know if you already saw it from the last videos, but if you didn't, here it is. Uh, RX-8 throttle body, S2000 intake manifold with a JSP adapter, K-tuned coolant thingy, eBay coolant thingy, eBay coolant thingy, Collins motor mounts, Collins adapter, uh, Exeti clutch, Collins flywheel. Um, made this turbo manifold in the last video going to be running a EFR 6758 turbo I just notched this a little bit further for uh, clutch slave cylinder clearance and then I also ground this down a little bit I don't know if I was supposed to but it seemed like it helped um, and then I also need to notch the bell housing just a little bit more which I'll show you when I get to it but for now Corey's going to be working on the front subframe Yay. notch. And why am I helping you with this? Uh, Cause I'm gonna help you put a Ferrari engine. That video's already dropped. In your car. We have a, the Ferrari engine is not yet in Corey's car. Yeah. That's why I'm helping Matt. Right. You and me, we're the lonely drivers, my lamb. Why don't we hang out with these losers? I help Matt, Matt helps me. Yeah. I, I thought you were just trying. Also, yeah. he pays our bills. He does. Also that. Now Corey's front subframe modification is all done. Uh, it's basically, we went flat with this here and then it's at a little bit of an upward angle just to give it a little bit of triangulation and we had more clearance up front. Um, eighth inch plate welded there and there. A little eighth inch plate on each side, welded in, spray painted black. I went and tapped this ISR coolant fitting thing uh, I tapped it M12 by 1.5, which is the thread of the RX-8 coolant temperature sensor. So we have that. And now I am doing some work on the firewall patch. Um, basically got these in there. Now I need to make one for the backside, which is going to be a little bit weird. Um, I did hammer this up. I didn't have to, but it's going to give me more clearance for all of this stuff. And it's going to make my life easier if I have to work on it and... That's kind of the goal with everything on this car is serviceability. And, you know, I got a Honda engine, so I don't need to worry about servicing it. You know, best of both worlds. Now the firewall notch is all filled in. Uh, I welded it about every inch or so, maybe a little bit more than that, with just some spots got a tack weld and some spots got a little tiny bead. Seam sealed all the edges. So it is nice and solid. I still have this little hole here, which was there before from HVAC stuff which I will probably just glue the plug back in, but it'll work. Now we're dropping the motor in for the final-ish time, I hope. Let's get her in there and start it up soon, I think. <laughs> So I got the engine in there. Everything's not fully hooked up. There's a lot of stuff just scattered. But I'm gonna try to start it. 
see how it goes. Just put the jump box on. I have already uploaded the tune on the Adaptronic. So now we uh, hope for the best. Okay, well we got RPM signal. It's weird, it's showing closed throttle and watt, but it's not showing out with TPS here. So I don't know why, that's weird. Um, AFR isn't hooked up at the moment. IMAP is not hooked up to the engine. Mm, ACT isn't really hooked up. Manifold air temperature might be, I don't know. No RPM, hmm. Oh, we got RPM, showed something. The cam angle sensors are not hooked up, but the crank angle sensor is. No, let's try it again. Hmm. Dang it. Boom. I had a little fire going. It's okay, the rotary kids are still gonna be mad. Even though you shoot bigger look, fireballs. But look, look at it. <laughs> That's amazing. I was literally cranking my car and the fuel VE map was way too high. And I, a giant fireball came out of the exhaust. And then the only way to put out a fire in your exhaust is by cranking the motor over. So I just did that and it just sent like a giant flame out. So after much delay, I have discovered that the original K-Series coil packs somewhere, uh, those were fried. So I threw on LS coils from my RX-8 and just threw the pins in there. And it starts up, which I will show you in one second, but also started working on the exhaust and I got the EFR turbine housing. And then this is just a stainless plate that I cut out and that's to seal the front until I can afford the rest of an expensive turbo. So we got a little wonky exhaust here. It's a, this is a three inch center line radius. So a one, a one R is what they call it, I believe. Um, so basically it's three inch tube, three inch center line radius. So it's very tight. And as you can see, we definitely needed that. Um, so boom, boom, boom to a catalytic converter because that tends to work better for quieting than a muffler. Oi. Then this is going to go here. And then that right there, Super Trap muffler is going to go on top if needed. Uh, but we will determine that right now because I haven't even heard it with this partial exhaust setup on it. Let's go. Hold on, okay. Turn my wiper blades off. Huh. Make sure we got a good connection. Jump box is a little dead, so hopefully it works. And there's that. Um, it's still running hella rich. That was another issue I had. So that's what all this fuel is. Coming from everywhere. Or all this smoke. But besides that, she runs. So now I need a lot of tuning. And then we can drive it, I guess. So I actually spoke to a buddy of mine who deals with a lot of K-series stuff and he said grounding it to there for the ignition coils was not working. So I moved the ground right there. It's a little ugly, but so is all the wiring, but it works with the K-series coils. And I got the exhaust finished up. Turbo delete is on. O2 sensor is there, ran over here and then wired into the ECU. Got it dumping out the hood there with a little 
with a little venti boy just to help pull some heat out. Big old hole just because there's a lot of heat over there, especially with the catalytic converter. Um, but I wanted it to be quiet, so that was important. I made a plug for this, which was just taped shut previously. Did a little bit of cleanup down there. Got all the radiator hoses in. Everything filled up besides, I have one small leak right over here, which is that bad. Got the uh, most recent tune uploaded, and now I get started up for you. Yes, Corey. What did you put on your car? What? You have to add something to it, the ground. Did you do the ground? I, uh, yeah. Let's hope it starts right away. Oh, dude, it revs up so much better right now. It revs up so much better. Yeah, she sounds happy. Oh. There's still fire. <laughs>